All right, now we're going to jump into John Tucker 2, his store account. And I've already made some uh, changes to his account, but by, uh, by default, you know, the first time that you log in, you'll notice that your time zone is set to China. So you'll want to go in and, and change that. I've already changed it to Central Standard Time. Uh, when you first log in, you'll actually notice that you do have a new section on the left-hand side here for game users. Uh, like I mentioned previously, cashiers uh, are able to, or uh, sorry, store accounts are able to manage both cashiers, which is under the admin management, but they can also manage the players at that particular store. Uh, so again, by default, you are directed to the user management under the game user section here. And you can see that I've already created an account for Kevin. But first, we're going to jump over to uh, the admin management. I'm going to admin, and we're going to take a look at our cashiers. Uh, so you can see that here is my store account, John Tucker 2, the store account. And I've already created a cashier, cashier 1. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, a feature here. So for instance, if for, for some reason we wanted to uh, disable, deactivate a uh, cashier account, let's say you had an employee that uh, recently quit, uh, we can click on the checkbox next to their account and we can go to suspend. We click OK, that we are sure. And you can see that under status has changed to prohibited. So this, uh, this individual will not be able to log into their cashier account. Uh, if this is a mistake or if you want to activate this account, we can just kind of do the reverse. Click this. We can go to activate. Click OK. And you'll see that their account has, is now active. So let's go and create a new cashier account. In contact number, we can set to a bunch of zeros because we are not using the open validation setting. So uh, make sure that we authorize both uh, the user for recharge and redeem. Again, keep close validations default and make sure the account is active. Go ahead and save. Piece of shit, you know? Now let's go in and we're going to create a new cashier. Uh, an account for Mindy. And the contact number. Again, we can punch in a bunch of zeros there because that doesn't matter. And let's make sure that the uh, cashier is authorized to both recharge and redeem. Keep validation status default as close and make sure the account is active. And let's click save. We are successful. And we can see that we have a new account for Mindy. So now let's hop over to the user management under the game user section here. And we're going to go in and we're going to create a new player account. So we're actually going to do Kevin 3. Uh, like it mentions here, we can leave nickname blank because uh, it will uh, default to whatever we put in as the account name. And for password, 